<laughs> uh, so growing up kuna joke tulikuwa ga tuna make tunasema a joke about how uh, some doctors wataamsha mgonjwa mwenye amelala so that wampatie dawa ya kulala like it's ironical and so thinking about that i thought of it as it's ironical daktari anapatia mgonjwa dose ya kudose yeah like anampatia dose ndio dose Yeah, healing power of the Holy Spirit. Na imewaka kuliko nare za stima vile ni nare. So washa moto ndani ya moyo wangu vile ni nare. Yesu tuma moto yani nare. The Holy Trinity is one in three people. Yani yani one in three people, three people. Ah, giza leo inawaka. Holy Spirit send your Holy Spirit send your spirit. Check it. Hello guys, welcome to Manuscripts. This is Manuscripts because when God speaks Manuscripts au sio eh yeah? Enzo leo this is not a sponsored video lakini like tunakunywa na kikombe ya Ilara eh yeah? Unakunywa chai na kikombe ya Ilara kwa sababu story ya leo is about mse mwenye alilala So Ilala So guys welcome to Story na T hapa tunapeana stories za Bible zenye tumeti na zenye tumefanya nini Tumeziti so kama kawaida hakikisha uko nini go mtifu si ndio Story ya leo just as I said is about this guy mwenye alilala na akakufa kwa sababu ya kulala hao e, usingizi na kusinzia ilifanya mse aka akadedi this is a story inapatikana in the book of acts chapter number 20 uh, from verse 7 hapo 7 ukiendelea chini hadi 14 15 mahali hapo so from verse 7 this is a guy by the name Eutychus and so Paul in fact before i go on so much this is a story that was suggested by one of us uh, actually Shadi Shadi thank you so much for suggesting this story and as we normally say kama kuna story unaweza taka tufanye tichapie hapa niambie pale kwa comment section ama on any of my social media platforms just talk to me na tuambie unaweza taka tufanye story gani si ndio and so this was suggested by Shadi so Shadi do this story so Paul who used to be Saul Paul alikuwa ameenda hii place fulani alikuwa ameenda hii place ku preach. So Paul walikuwa wame meet as the believers walikuwa wame meet in a particular place and they were having the last uh, the Lord's table that is the last supper walikuwa na celebrate that. And uh, uh, because Paul was supposed to leave the next day asubuhi. And so it meant uh, lazima ange create time amalize kuongelesha wao wase eh, na amalize his mission work in that place tuko sawa and so what paul decided to do was ali decide what to speak usiku and so hiyo conversation ilienda usiku from majuni kenda till uh, late in the night and so almost midnight hapo wase walikuwa wameja in fact this meeting ilikuwa inafanyika kwa upper room yeah ilikuwa inafanyika kwa one of the upper room pale and uh, actually funny enough sasa nimekuja kufikiria hata yesu akituma disciples wake waende watayarishe uh the last supper aliwaambia go take everything and go prepare it in a upper room somewhere okay just thought about that so in an upper room mahali they were having the last supper and also paul was there speaking and so around midnight like your place ilikuwa ime chrome na ilikuwa imejaa watu ile design kuna msia alikuwa ameka mahali kwa dirisha so unajua zile dirisha za kitambo venye the romans walikuwa wanajenga nyumba zao and so mahali kwa dirisha kuna boys alikuwa tu amekaa tu pale ana anasikiza anasikiza neno akio pale huyo boys anaitwa Eutychus and so Eutychus akio pale anasikiza tu eh, as Paul is speaking uh, kama kawaida okay it's okay si kawaida akio tu pale uh, usingizi ikaanza kukamu na akaanza kusinzia na amesinzia si unajua ile tunasemaga unagawa mashamba i think alikuwa alikuwa broker wa mashamba ile design tu alikuwa anazigawa so anagawa gawa mashamba pale anasinzia and it happened because alikuwa amekaa kwa dirisha so akisinzia akasinzia na kaanguka and it is said alianguka so it shows this upper room like place yutika alikuwa amekaa alianguka from the third story alikuwa in the third story from the third story all the way down alianguka hadi chini so mse kama huyo like you don't expect mse a survive after such an ordeal and so yutika saka pale wasa ameshuka chini haraka haraka wameenda kumchecki checki eh kidogo kidogo kumwangalia ile kuangalia pass hivi eh 
wakajua huyu uh, huyu ametuacha huyu ameshatuacha so wasi ndo ile wameshaanza kuzunika pia Paul akateremka na wasi akakuja akakuja akapata Utica saka hapo chini of course asi ime create casino hapo so Paul amekuja akakuja akaona Utica akamchukua akajekelea kwa kile like, akam akam hug design mikono zake ziko around yeye yeah, akam hug na akaambia wasi msishtuke msikuwa alarmed mstance umsaja dedi he's alive uh, the same way actually uh, Jesus talked to letting your Lazarus he's just he's just sleeping and so Paul akawambia uh, don't be alarmed he's alive kwa mimi msishtuke he's alive then akamwacha yeye akarudi juu akarudi juu akaenda akaendelea ku break bread ku break bread na kukula and uh, yes the meeting continued in fact it was a kesha because baby nasema they continued all the way till uh, daylight like asubuhi mapema na asubuhi mapema vile ilifika Paul yeye akachukua vitu zake virago na akatoka and he went to the next place and so this event he went throughout the night and uh, yeah so actually Utica sio time yenye Paul alimwombea venye Paul alikuwa amemshika hivi and uh, akaambia wasi don't be alarmed Utica came back to life na asubuhi wasaka kuja wakampata yeye wanamwangalia angalia wanaona eh kijana ako sawa wakamchukua wakampeleka home wakampe chakula and uh, the kid was fine yeah that is the story of how huyu msee alilala kwa kanisa and uh, yeah that happened so kwa wale wanalalaga kwa kanisa mimi sijasema kitu na mi, mimi tu ni story na wapea mimi kazi yangu ni kuwapea story eh, wale watu wanalalaga kwa kanisa <laughs> but anyway that is our story for today and uh, Yeah, haba story na tea. So guys, thank you for listening to this story. Na kama kawaida, tuonane in the next story next time. I hope you are going to be suggesting the stories down below and also in my socials. Just talk to me. Niambie story gani unataka kusikia. Tutakuja tuacha pia hapa. Au sio? Yeah. So from me, Atios Muchai Chills, ndio? Tuonane na asanteni amjalala kwa hii story. Eh. Yeah. <laughs>